Greetings, 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 greetings. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to another lovely online session of online learning. We are part of the team Grow South Africa. We're the part that believes in online learning, distance learning, blended learning, virtual learning, and all those things. Um, right now, with another video today, another exciting video that is going to cover the dynamics module. So if you are with us, tune in, sit tight, and let's walk the talk. We will be teaching each other, and we'll be going through the dynamics module using a textbook by my friend, Graham Olivier. That's the textbook. And we are going to be slaughtering the dynamics module, which is module three. Right. I'm hoping everybody is good. Everybody is fine. I am super good. Dynamics is not a new chapter to us. Dynamics is nothing new, my friends. Uh, let's get the register to be circulating so long. Enforce. At the end of the day, my N4s, we know the vibes. I'm not alone. I'm with my N4s. Huh? Textbook just ends. N4. Uh, just about the go collect. In the staff room. In the what, what? What is that place called? It's staff room. Or in the office. Oh, yes. Small room, small hall. Guys, just greet us. It's a N4 science class. I'm not alone. I'm dealing with these guys. I think they're angry because they're not getting the answers. Hi, guys. Greet. Shaka, that was me. But nonetheless, that is all good. We're excited that we are on another lesson of engineering science. It's our favorite. And we are also streaming this in the classroom so the kids have an idea of what it is that's going on. Um, I've got already five people that are logged in. This is exciting. So tell your friends that we are live. And we are about to make the pots with this engineering science. So, umshakalaka, let's go. Dynamics. Can we all be on the same page at the same time? So, we all know for a fact that when it comes to dynamics, it's always about motion involved and movement. So, with that being said, we are going to deal with the three laws of Newton's motion laws, and we'll deal with kinetic and potential energy, and we'll be good. We should be able to know how to state the Newton's laws. We should be able to calculate the total forces required. We should be able to calculate the total work done. Um, yes, or Chipiri, or whoever, but please keep quiet. Let's do the things. Nonetheless, uh, first page, as we jump in, boom shakalaka. They tell us the basics that we all know. So as N4s, we are senior students. We know what it is we are doing. We've spoken about this a lot. I've dealt with you guys when you were still picking in is from the ground up. So this means that I'm either a very brilliant lecturer or I'm a brilliant lecturer. Because there are people that I started teaching here when they were like on N1, which is great. And now we're on N4 science, which is excellent. The last level the most challenging and the most interesting. Now, there is things that we know already. We know about a force, that a force is a push or a pull. A force is a vector. It's got magnitude and direction. When you represent a force, there must be a direction and there must be a magnitude. And the fact that you've got direction means that you'll be able to know as to how far this force is acting at. Um, the types of forces that we're going to deal with is the applied forces example like when a car is moving we're going to deal with the forces of gravity as you have a stone that is thrown up and it comes down and we also have the forces of friction and resistance like in a case where you are riding a bike and you are riding it on a very slippery place or in a very uh dry or a rough surface we'll be able to calculate those things and we'll be able to move and then now they tell us that in module one we've already come across the equations of motion which is true, we spoke about the motion equations and the modules as well. The fact that you've got V is U plus GT, V is U plus this, and V is U plus that. That stuff we already spoke about in the first module, and they still give us a definition of a force. We can say that a force is the influence which tends to change the state of rest of a body, and if the force is big enough, the object will move. 
if the body moves in a straight line at a constant speed, a force will be influenced. At a constant speed, a force will be the influence which changes or tends to change this motion. This is depending on the magnitude of this force, of course. And then you've got that scenario that tells you that a Newton applied of force is equal to a kilogram uh, per acceleration type of a thing. And they tell us about Newton's three laws. You've got the first law that if you keep an object on a table, if I take this book and I just keep it there, if I take this calculator or these pieces of highlighters and I keep it there, it's just going to remain there. Not so? It will remain at one place unless there's an external reactive force that is going to come there. So there's my law one. I've highlighted my law one. An object will persist in its conditions of rest or uniform motion unless an external unbalanced force acting in this condition. There you've got it. It says it nicely there. So please highlight it on your books and you should be good. Law number two, the change in momentum of a body. This one defines that MV formula. It's proportional to the force applied to the body and it takes place in the direction of the applied force. If there is a force that is being applied, the force is 10, 10 is going to tend to take the direction of the applied force. And that is your second law of Newton. Newton's third law then comes and says, for each force that is exerted on a body, there is an equal and opposite force that is acting on it. And this MV1 and MV2, what are these things called? I spoke about this. As in these collisions, elastic collisions, inelastic collisions, where you've got the before and the after, take note of that. And then we've got a scenario on a page 34, which gives us force problems. And in this case, we are just basically applying the basic equation, which is F is MA. The example says that uh, which force is required to accelerate a mass of 6 kgs from rest to 3 meters per second squared. Always take note of that squared. The squared is your acceleration and you multiply it with the mass. That will give you the force that you have to calculate. There is a second one which looks a bit more tougher. Um, how great a force will be required to accelerate a bicycle from 1 meter per second to 5 meters per second within 10 seconds. If the bicycle has a mass of 6 kilo and the cyclist has a mass of 50 kgs. The mass of the bike is 6 kgs and the mass of the boy is 50. Therefore, what is the total mass that we're going to work with? Total mass that we're going to work with is 56, of course. Not so? Not so? Why is it like I'm talking alone? So if you want to get your acceleration, because the formula says force is MA. So for you to get your acceleration, you have to work your acceleration. You drive it with your formula of movement that says V is U plus AT. You make A the subject of the formula and your A then becomes V minus U over T. And the T that you've been given is 10 seconds. And you've got the velocity and the final, the initial and the final. You've got it as four as the difference and your acceleration is 0.4. Um, shagalaka. We keep it going. And then you've got example three, which speaks about a V6 Ford engine with a mass of that. I feel like that one you can do on your own. I want more serious things. Now, I would rather say, let's look at example seven and example eight. Take away homework. Example eight is the one I'm really loving a lot. Seven and eight, please note those sevens and eight. Seven and number eight. And there we go. Force problems. When you've got a force and you're dealing with it on a vertical scale, you know that you deal with your vertical movement and you consider your horizontal movement as G, as your gravity, your 9.81. That is obviously if that situation is happening on Earth. But if it's happening on the moon, your G will be different. Not so? And we know for a fact that if the object is going up, your G that you're going to use is going to be a negative 9.81 G. Agree? Your G, when you're going up, is 9.81 yeah, negative. CJ. And then for your downwards acceleration, you've got a scenario where the object is moving downwards. Uh, for downwards acceleration, less the force is required as the body will accelerate by itself if it moves downwards as a result of gravitational acceleration. For downwards acceleration, the force is required is Mg minus ma when it's going up is fg plus ma there you've got them 
And then we keep moving. They give us a couple of examples with the upwards and the downwards. However, I'm not really worried about that. I am worried about example six on three, two. And I'm also worried about example five and four. Four, five, and six. There you have it. Please highlight those in the textbook. That becomes your takeaway. Obviously, we know the deal. No takeaway, no homework, no coming to class. You don't come in my class without my homework. We know that for a fact. Please, guys, if you're watching from online, do share the content. Do let everybody else know that Mr. Man is on there. Mr. Magician, Mr. Mag Mother Magician is doing the things. And we are making the pots. I think the pink is visible, but I think the green will be better visible. Uh, if I say too heavy there, yeah, it's still visible. No? Is it better or is it the same? Anyways, um, you've got a scenario there where there's first problems and you've got a matter of friction that's being involved. When there's friction involved, it means that the surface part is considered. You can see these two scenarios. The boy is trying to push the man and the man is standing directly on the piece of grass or on a patch of grass. He's not going to get the same reaction as if when the man was on a skateboard. All I work at skateboard, the chimera much tougher. So don't go on the chimera, though it was skateboard. Or you work at my hatsia chimera better. Is it true? What would be the story? It will be easier on the skateboard and tougher on the grass, not so? Okay, so we're going to check out whatever it is now. Now, you've got the friction coefficient formula that says mu is F mu over W. Mu is F mu over W. F mu being your frictional force, your W being your force that is perpendicular. Perpendicular. What is perpendicular? Perpendicular is this, if you cannot speak English. Just draw it. That right there is perpendicular. It's a relationship that has a 90 degrees towards the other one. Not so? There we go. So your friction coefficient is mu, and the formula is F mu over W. And then you've got it right there going on. And then they give us example 7 and 8. We're going to look at those. And I'm looking at exercise 3.3 right there. I want us to master these forces gains and be on top of them. However, the forces that have fire, I'll give you one. I'll give you two of these, two and four. Please, I like them, two and fours. The ones that is going to be for N4 material. This is the one. This is why we are here. This is why we are here today. The fact that you've got a friction on a flow on a surface, but you also have an incline. Manashikango. Shikango. Shigango, 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 somewhere there. Wow. Wait, Chimini? I have a question about multicultural, but in a Shigango. I saw Shigango, Shigango, Nishikwara, Mashaka, a slope. A slope in this case, you will have a scenario that seems to be like this. You will have the angle of your slope, and that angle will be equal to the angle of your angular triangle in there. And then the fact that you've got a slope, your object will be slanted, obviously, and your W will remain to be the one that faces down. As it faces down, you are going to have a force that is perpendicular. This is perpendicular. You've got a 90 degree relationship with the slope. It's perpendicular to the slope, and you've got another force that is parallel to the slope. Does it make sense? Parallel is going straight, and this one is going straight. It means these two lines will never meet. Therefore, there you have it. The two weight components is the perpendicular to the plane and the parallel to the plane. So you've got it going on there that your perpendicular plane force is 40 cos of 30. 40, 40 being the value of the force and the cos being the relationship that you have on those two. 40 cos of 30. And then the parallel one is 40 sine of 30. It never really changes. You will work with your 30s I mean, with your sines and your courses as we graphed. Now, there you've got the scenario. There's always scenario one and scenario two. Scenario one is when your object is going up. What would you want to story, Bala? If your object is going up, your friction is going to be opposite. And then you've got scenario two where your object is going downwards. When it's going downwards, your friction will be opposite, facing up. So I'm going to F mu, F. F, F mu. What would you want to do? You've got equations that you use for F up and F down. You will see those equations as we carry on. For your upward force, 
they tell us that it's 20 newton plus 25 newtons how do they get that 20 and 25 the 20 newton is coming from the parallel force and the 25 is coming from the frictional force ta not even come already go going in and already go going in and you have the fa shoe is the one that's taking it up therefore the frictional force is less it means that if it's going this gamma up it means that that the one that's facing downwards is less Hence, you have to add these two together because they are facing the same angle. CJ. And then when you've got a scenario where the object is coming down, so no kwambori, it's going to be F plus 20. F kwambahi, 20 kwambahi no niya parallel. Zwa konotumana, zwa re is equal to 25. Ine eno ni diyo niyo kukonye nanta. Ba wukune ibo wanati? Bumshakalaka. I think our science has just become a whole lot better. Simply because you've got a genius of a lecturer right here. Now, you've got the scenario where we are dealing with the weight components and you'll be able to get your answers much easier. They gave us example nine. Can we look at example nine and be able to correct that example nine? An engine of a motor car with a mass of 900 kilo is switched off on a downhill. Downhill of 3,823 degrees at 60 kilometers per hour. DG is 9.8. You are going to be able to do it. Therefore, the resistance to motion is 200 newtons. All the end, at the end of the downhill, the motor car travels at 90 kilometers per hour. Calculate the following. Weight component parallel to the plane. Accelerating force. Acceleration. Length of the downhill. There we've got it. Let's get it cracking. Now, the first story that says weight component of the parallel, what is parallel to the plane, is the W. The W in this case is that W that we are talking about here. The W is mg. W is mg. It gives you your answer there. Eight eight twenty. This is an N one science here. So when you want to run, yes, there's a problem. Now, for you to get your weight component parallel to the plane, you now break down your W into your parallel component and your perpendicular component. Your parallel component in this case is this one, the FG. So now the fact that it's parallel, it means that we are going to break it down using the Pythagoras theorem. What is it going to be, this FG? Calculate that thing and tell us the FG. Obviously, it's W sine of that angle of alpha, which is how much? Punch, punch, punch. How much? You've got the 588. Excellent. These guys worked it out right here that FG, the component that is parallel, is MG sine of something. They should have put in an alpha. They just put sine only. Does it make sense? So the MG in that case is 8820, which is the one that we got here. Multiply by sine 3,823. You work those things. 588 is your component that is parallel. And then the accelerating force for you to get your accelerating force, there is the story. The fact that the object is moving downhill. You go to a saw, hella gory. Rishim is a formula, I feel. Kids in Billy, one or two? One or two? Yes, two man. I have so long, I'm going to go to the USB, I'm going to go to the USB. So you are using the second formula, which says the fact that you've got this force going down. It should take out. But, you are adding it with the FG here. Okay, but Ella 588 kila total force. Ella friction force okay, la wako minus a 200. Ella 200 tero vuzi wa yone apa na gumwa pa. It it's a magui la 200. Igui ivagui ila. Aye, there is our 200. Our 200 is shown. Everything is gravy. Boom shakalaka. You've got your 388. And then you've got your acceleration, accelerating force. What do they want us to get? Accelerating force. Uh, accelerating force on the BND. Yeah, yeah. So he could make any lane. He shall have 388. And now the next question says acceleration itself. So for you to get the acceleration yourself, you come back to that F is MA formula. The fact that you've got your force that you just calculated previously means that you're going to plug it here. The mass we've been given on the 900, and your A is what you want to find out. So I'm gonna... Okay, excellent stuff. F is MA. Plug and play, and Bob's your uncle. But on acceleration, k like over 0 0.43 meters per second squared. That's our acceleration. And then they tell us the length of the downhill. 
The story does not end on the slope here. The story talks about downhill as well. At the end of the downhill, the motor car travels at 90 kilometers per hour. If that is the case, if you've got a downhill, it says it travels at 90 kilos per hour. Therefore, what these guys are going to do is that they're going to use their movement formula to be able to get their S. For you to get your S, what movement formula can we employ? We've got three formulas. We've got V squared is equal to U squared plus 2GS. We've got S is UT plus half GT squared. Which one are we employing here? One, two, or three? The squared one, not so? How about the participate? How about the show? Which one are we taking? Yes, better. Now, you've got your U there as 16,67. Where does this come from? Rokwa U is 16,67. If it's a magui, if a guile. If you're 90. So is the 90 going to be the initial or is the 90 going to be the final? 90 the final, Lati. Initial, I have a guy. Rarubo, yone. Oh, hey, I have like 60 kilometers per hour. So 60, hila. In a 60, when a converter, it will set up, guys. 16, comma. Ah, hey. It's not the 16 kilometers per hour. It's not the DP on the 60, 60. They are 90. 90 kilometers per hour, one we stand up on a meter per second. Why do you do this thing to move it from kilometers per hour to meters per second? Excellent stuff. Yeah, we said a couple of 25 first one. And then we have a up a lot. Kayla, a up a majority is 0.44. Jumbo Rabbit, I don't want a mistake you have. By the way, one acceleration. Jumbo is story such a bend of verb. She bend of verb one is a bend is all that. But she bend of verb, but she double was she was a wrong acceleration. So practice is the answer to this game. And Mangasi understanding the same day game. You must make a lot of mistakes in the classroom and be able to make a lot of mistakes in the class with me. And when you go to the test, you know that you are the mercy of this soccer. Next thing, V squared is U squared plus 2AS. Um, the final velocity is 25, like you are saying, and the initial is 16, plus two times the acceleration and times the s that is unknown now my question la is that why didn't we use the g here on the a why does machine say g yes chitori chaja bono ni zuno chiko tuwa hori ogono ngwana chitori chiko tuwa nga horizontal the same thing that the lady said that we are dealing with the fact that he chitori cha chiko tuwa ka horizontal element that's what we are talking about and then we speak about a gradient, incline, degrees, and gradient. An incline is measured in degrees with a protractor. Incline, you reach gang, guys. What? Okay, la. Incline is measured with a degree with a protractor. The easier of 15 degrees, obviously, use the protractor. And another way you can get the incline is using your relationship. We are cutting sign and at the cause. If I'm a way, you can get it with the relationship that you have here. And you, a gradient is given as a relation of the vertical rise over the horizontal displacement. Incline is y over x. y over x, y over x is your incline. At the same time, you can use a tan theta to have a y over x, and then you'll be able to get the angle that you are looking for. Not so? Boom, shagalaka. The angle theta can be found in the incline. Uh, that is fine if, if the incline is known. And the angle theta can be found if the incline is known and vice versa. Oh yeah, if you have got these two, you can get this one. If you've got this one, you can get these two, vice versa. If angle A, if an angle is very small, then sine and tangent gets very close to one another. Jambo revised as the sine and as the cos on as the tani. But the one is as kofana, but you are not wrong. You are right. But the answer is 0 0.524, 0 0.034, they are very close. However, that should not stop the party. Let's carry on. Those important uh, pointers are not so bad. Now, catch large story, Chashu. Is in the zone is never just go ahead because it was that was just what you do. Man, because these ones are the maximum of the ones that you're gonna find in the test. These frictions ones, you know, your knowledge, you know, I mean, Zimia friction, you like wherever there's a slope and you've got an issue of the issue of the accelerating force 
accelerating force, if you are not sure, come and double check your story here. If my object is coming down, Jambo na home sebe ziko fan, it's ziko ziko edan it. Are you go on your story? Home sebe ukoba uote a edi we zibiri on the other side of the equation. Are you going to have? We are talking about the twenty and the F are adding each other, and then the twenty five is minusing because if I'm at the opposite way. So I'm gonna my hands now. Those two forces, those three forces. I feel like if we are tackling the theory, it's way better to do theory and then we kill the theory, and then we come back to do the the numbers. Not so. Let's crack it. Now you've got the issue of work, my friends. People use this this word so loosely, but they don't understand that the word work is a scientific word. Work and power. No work is done by just supporting the tree, although a force is exerted. Let's see. Yes, sir. Hey. Oh. For the what? For the. Oh, you're a guy. Because of Timmy. Maras no angu ya three mara maba na bash. Ah, Ivan. Okay, I'll tell you. There's one later. Okay, I'll watch him be. I'll push you. I'll push you. What time is it? It's called over. I'll be in Gaiqua Kawa. I'll be in Gaiqua Kawa. I'll be in Gaiqua Okay. I know. But I'll be sure. Or is Varanga about three. Tisha or the three. As the one. Nani bono riba sa tuya angi awe fukanga angi. Basuka wa kutsori chivanga chivinga ade. Babe show. Hey, I'm going to get here, Hey, I see there is there's one problem. What is the issue? Ah, I'm just going to bore. I'm class in Iman. I'm going Hey, Mara, I'm going to rebash here. Let's leave as me. Jab, jab, bye. Ah, sorry for that. I should have muted this because I don't want the whole Africa to know that I'm a rich guy. <laughs> now that they know. <laughs> now that they know, I went on. Yeah, I learned that skill here, yeah, so I hope you're gonna learn something from me. But, anyways, the fact that you've got your work there, it's not come as a river, never could ever create a work done. When I was never quit as one of the achieve there, you know, you are moving something from somewhere to get it to somewhere else, and that is what the whole work module is about. We know that the force that is applied and the distance given give you the work formula. There is my work formula there. And you know that your unit of work is joules. And it's measured in Newton meters. Why is it Newton meters? Because force is in Newtons and S is in meters. If you've got work that is happening horizontally, you've got a very simple scenario and things are gonna be much, much easier. Let me just figure this story out. <laughs> So you guys are saying it's not a problem that these guys know that I'm 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 wealthy like that. Yeah, let's let them know it's fine, they'll be fine. Anyways, there is the work done horizontally. We have an object, uh, when an object has to be moved horizontally, a force equal to the frictional force between the object and the surface has to be applied to the object, as we'll see in the following example. A motor car has a mass of that, has a resting force of that 20 newton per one kilometer newton of its weight against movement and travels for 1.5 kilos calculate the work done we know that at the end of the day we must come back to this mastermind equation w is fs so in this case what it was already has a resting um force of 20 newton per one kilo newton of its weight so how much are you going to get this force to be and which what force is this in the a force a rapport in year 20 and I don't need to go there is this 20 newton per one kilo is my in the frictional force it oh and the resting and resisting on the school and the resting oh so i'm really on the frictional force i saw so you have already control my weight i mean what would already pay one kilo newton your weight so you have to use the mass that you have and take it to weight what is w's mg of that it's almost 9118 what is it? 8,900? 8, 8, How do you 918,4 multiplied by 9,8? Square running, you can 9,000. 
9,000 comma 9,032. 9,000 solid number and 32 neutrons. Okay, there is your 9,032. Uh, is this kilo neutrons or neutrons? Neutrons. Neutrons, right? So you divide this by a thousand. What is it gonna be? Nine kilo newtons. Not so. I saw. Hey, so one of our Zofi, one one kilo newton. Is it not one? Oh, not twenty newton. Twenty newton. Ka one kilo newton. T. Ya ria ya ya mass. Ya weight. So then we should calculate our weight. Our weight. Weight. I should be nine kilo newton. You have more upon only value as you do, guy. As a cross multiplication, eh? Tira, 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 mouse. This is the relationship that we are given from this statement. 20 newton per 1 kilo newton of its weight. Now, rather, I wear a yellow kilo newton, yellow newton, or even a kilo newton. You are asking 9 kilo newton. Are you 9? You want to go by the mini? Bananas by bananas. Above the woods frictional. Above the woods weight. But wait, how one kilo newton you wait? We're not winning at all. So can I kilo newton you wait? We're not guy. Cross multiply and bulk plug and play. Twenty times nine is how much? X is gonna be what? One fifty. One eighty. What kilo newtons? Newtons exactly. We're gonna know that. As a kilo newton and the newton, I saw. Kilo one eighty kilo newton. Therefore, our frictional force is how much? One hundred and eighty newton. Not so. Though if it's 180, then you've got the story going. Uh, but with the distance, I follow only 1,5. I saw. So it's going to be the first times distance. I saw. Hey, first you're going to get times the guy. 180 times 1,5. Yeah, the pop guy. Work is first times distance. Force in this case is 180 times the distance of 1,5. Yeah, pop guy. Kilo joules. As Julu, oh, and one comma five kilo or two people and the one comma five meter. Oh, so it's one comma five kilometers. So it's supposed to be one thousand five hundred meters. So, what does it say? Oh, my shumay raro. Yanamaba kilo joules. Ah, what are you saying? Bawa dah zona film di Rosa Street. Ah, di kau baca yang baca. Eh, dia nak confidence ini nak kau tahu tak kasih saya insi mabah nak baca. So no answer ada zona yang zona itu zona. Abang ni mana rupanya si wabah zona kubis. So from mana? You're ready. One eighty ready to give. So abang tu lepas macam dah boleh buat apa dia buat apa dia fire. Eh, abang nak jahit as. Aku mau tengah. Apa kau tak kahar? Apa kau sifu? Hope ni answer dia bateri anda ni. Ya cina tak kahar saya sahaja. Ya, ya, siapa ni? Asyik orang buat saya tu. Orang tu pernah kuda mendeh suri. Asyik orang ni apa ni? Eh, ni tu buat suri. Eh, tu orang buat orang lapor mana tu? Ada kelas ini orang tu orang yang asyik orang. Eh, mana? Not a problem. There is our two seventy. You can see where the kilo is coming from. Ochi wana chipi rimu si chitori chiko famo gel ushabo. Ochi dukiza back city. Rimtuwe mbuti. Ngabo. Baku soko na tayenda. Hili pisili kuwa wana mera. Kez. Work done vertically. I always make these things look easy, my friend. I'm telling you there's only one genius in this world. And it's me. Diga mufunza Bill Gates, yes. Andi adu ugai. Mundu Bill Gates, ya diga mufunza chitori. Ya una jiri chano fi for some good. Hey, so when you've got work done vertically, nothing changes. Uro chinche zina di movement is about the equation is out. Uro umbo di wogo shuma ji ya palo kula kutanga kwa ji kumbo di vane pala. Obviously, if your object is going up, it's going to be negative 9,81. It's going down, it's going to be a positive 9,8. A stone is thrown from the top, coming down. Wogo shumisa ji ya positive. Are chiko gonye nanta, wogo fi a bullet is fired up, wogo what, what, what. Chiko bana negative symbol. Work done to lift the body vertically with two meters per second, and nothing really changes. And the other one is the change of S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two formulas of the theory: W is F H, or H is only normal to one by height. Vertical, I F I F distance. If you mean if you height, we are going to one. But nonetheless, we are okay. It's still F S, no problem. Now, there is power. Matiimba, the magnitude only measures the amount of which 
This magnitude only measures the amount of work done in one second. In order to calculate the rate at which the work is done, the rate. Have you ever come to Angara? It was the zero one HP in Kapal. Rate your rich Pengachi which in Gisani, Mati in Ba. I saw it. They give us an example there. The formula is Fs and what? What is the formula of power? Where's the power formula? P is W over T. Uh, there we go. Work over time. So work, we know it's Fs, not so? So you can technically say it's Fs over T, not so? Perfect story. That's an example. My pen flays. We're going to follow it up. Now, what else can we talk about? They gave us a story of a car. This one is at an angle. Oh, he didn't indicate the motor car. He didn't indicate the I saw He didn't indicate the motor car. We're the power. Case we're going to show you one. We're going to show you one. We're going to is equal to force times distance. Force so you have one is a hard. One is a hard. The 180 LR, I calculate here 180. And the distance in this case is going to be what? It's going to be kilometers in one second. Okay, in one second. So they divided. So this was in hours. Kilometers per hour. Yeah, a kilometer. But I'm not understanding. Why did the distance come being converted like that? Or oh, because they use 72 kilometers per hour. Okay. So this thousand will take away the kilo, and then you will have over second, which is time. And then you've got your 20 meters per second. And plug and play, you've got your 36. The power to accelerate. There is your power. Um, so what are you doing? You go to the woman here and go to the Come on, it's double to the bad. There's your power required. This object in this story, Tiro would feel like going to go to the next one. Oh, they said the power required to accelerate from rest with an acceleration of two meters per second squared. Kitch like like story for la force to accelerate with that. You get your new um force. But when a force here we have a guy 180. This is the given force, and then you've got your total force being F mu plus F A. You're gonna add these two up and get your 1980. Okay, a formula a non equal bag a non a non a total force. I see you know about my money. Jambo are you going to add? Jambo are you going to go in and touch quarry? I saw. This is check up when I check this thing. But now, where did they say about the car going up here? Hmm, case you don't up here. She go one hour. I go go in and touch your body. Whenever go to shoot, Mister Hey, force you, Yama. If it's going down, it's the minus one. It's going up. You adding, you are adding up the total forces. Um, shagalaga. Why no change a man? They issue. And then we realize that the question says power required to accelerate from rest with an acceleration of two meters per second. There we go. And then you've got your equation. So recall one second. How get your meaning? But you missed that formula. S is ut plus half a t squared. What panga one second? The katai. But recall two seconds. Eh, but panga time here two seconds. Cut three seconds. Eh, but panga three. Yeah, follow. But one. Ah, eh. Case we You are winning your way to going to design N six. Or to do engineering physics and five or strength of materials nonetheless the therefore power is force times uh this and that per second ba, 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 ba. there you get your answer for the second it is and then they also get the answer and on the third one they get the answer as well there they have it it's an example so this should be easy now they ask us if it drives at an uphill with the same speed, the uphill has a, a, an incline of eight degrees. If the previously one was what you calculate the the what? The if it drives, then I just quote you know of Kasi Bala. Calculate the if it drives an uphill with the same speed. I think they didn't ask it nicely this thing. But I think the question is calculate the power. If it drives up with the same speed, you've got your FG and your F total. The fact that this object is going up, you've got a decode. F total is FG plus F mu. 
you look at the values and you see where they come from. Plug and play, you get your, your 1407. And then we get on to the homework. Obviously, we've got number three and number four. I think if we do two, 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 each will be five. But maybe one for bonus. So in Kombela 3.5, three and four, and number six. Today is Wednesday, not so? Hey, Eduardo, because this shoemate is in Tumandre of the Badding World. Tomorrow we'll be doing the answers and calculations. Tomorrow is Thursday, not so? And then Friday, Ravaru Kopeti Sanadze Zingwe. Then Monday, Ratomazov did the new modules. They will go to where they are now. Energy. Energy is the ability of a body to do work. We know that story all day, every day. There is my energy. Energy, energy, energy. For sure. Even Makazi said it on a song that energy is the ability to do work. And the fact that you've got energy there, it means that what you want to ability. Jambor, for you to come into this classroom today, you need energy. For you to be in this classroom today and listen and focus, you need energy to keep you focused. That energy can be stored and it can be found somewhere. Now, there you have it. We've got... Uh, no problem. Uh, there you've got a story there that says energy as a result of movement. You've got it called kinetic energy, EK or KE, kinetic energy. When you've got it on the horizontal movement, Chibizofi kinetic energy. Chishumisole la formula ya half is mv squared. K la half is mv squared. This applies whenever you've got things that are going hori. A car is driving at this speed. A train is doing this. A mountain is doing that. A person is walking. All of those things. This is what you use. And then what we know here is that the fact that you are working with the energy is KE is M half MV squared. And that energy that you're going to get there is going to be the same as the one that you're going to get to get to push the wagon. W is FS. And then you've got energy on account of position when you've got potential energy. PE is MGH, mass, gravity, and height. Mass, gravity, and height. That is one of those things that they talk about when you are still young. potential Whatever the one I hate, you've got a potential to be great. Richard, one on a potential, which I could know in Bawe, one of Jay, but the Kalata, Palavachi, one. A pitch tangish in a potential about the Jingashka Kurebad, who come by his. So, this is what they talk about. The more height you have, the more higher you can be in life. So, if I take this, this my whiteboard marker and I use a height of of this size. I, I think I'm going to get the meters, but check out from year to year. How much, what is this height? I'm sorry, one meter. I'm going to go as a height. Maybe 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters. When you let go of the 10 centimeters, the thing doesn't really injure you and it doesn't hurt you or nothing. My right and get a height. You're far up. It's a cover up and it's a one. Even the thing breaks itself. So that shows you that the PE is based on your height. The higher the height, the higher the potential. The more people you know in life, the more chances are that you're going to be successful. Why? Because it's the height. You get more visible when more people know you. You understand? There we go. And then PE of the ball is MGH. They gave us an example on 12. It's something you guys can graft. It's pop and flay straightforward. Kumshakalaka. There we go. You've got it straightforward. You've got it cooking. I've got zero comments so far. Guys, please comment, man. Just say something. Okay. There we go. Now, I was teaching the other guys these things not long ago that when you've got a scenario of a ball that is at the top, potential energy iba magumoni maximum. I don't want it to pixelate. Yeah, please. PE yapa iba ika maximum. Mara, KE yapa noni iba ika zero. So at the bottom, PE iba ika zero. Apa noni mara, KE ika maximum. Boko na wana. Let's put this thing. This is very important for you guys to know. The fact that at the bottom your PE must be zero, obviously because your height is zero there, ne? But you have a PE here with your maximum. 
Hapa no nikhe dzishuma vice versa sedzindi. Mara dzichisvika hapa kugati yapo. Dzishuma sasi so imwe dove ko tuwa so imwe chiko tuwa so. Dzitangana kugati. Hapo ne dzatangana imwe chiko tsai imwe vai ko That's in the halfway of this distance. If we are talking about 15 meters, halfway yo tindi 7 meters yapo 7.5. Hapa iba yono ne the PE and the KE are equal. We'll do examples as you can see here. This example is very, very critical. Don't take this one for, for, for granted. The 13 should not be taken down once. Did you vendor English is Otuman as a direct? PE is MGH. Um, they tell us that from these answers, you'll notice that PE on top is equal to the kinetic energy below. Total PE and total uh, KE is a constant. There you have it. So, PE is equal to 94. KE is equal to 94. So, it's equal to stop being romantic. What is happening? Anyways, <laughs> let's keep going. Let's keep moving and we do the things. Now, what else? Energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be transformed from one format to the other. What law is this? This is the conservation law of energy. Conservation or the law of conservation of energy. Energy cannot be created, created or destroyed, but it can be transformed from one format to the other. Therefore, all this potential energy decreases the kinetic energy will increase for an object falling from rest. If an object is power driven by a type of a motor, this law is not valid. Okay, there we have it. There is a law that is being told here that as the potential energy decreases, the kinetic energy will increase for an object that is falling from rest. That is straightforward. If an object is power driven by a type of a motor, this is not valid. Think of a spacecraft that gains speed and power as it ascends into the atmosphere after launching. They tell us about an example of a speed of a of a Mark Shuttleworth or Elon Musk that when it starts here, it's at zero. And when it gets out, the velocity gets higher. And this is called escape velocity because it's getting less and less. The gravitational is actually influencing this object to go. For North and south. What happens when you've got these magnets close enough? Are magnet magnet pulling effect. Simply because the distance counts. Not so. So the same thing applies to the gravity that happens. That is the magnet that is inside the center or the core of the earth. That mantle is the one that provides the magnetic field. The other one, you know, I look up to a flight, you go for your crash. I cry, I be again, take a 4,000 feet. Yambo, yambo, you want a problem, yambo, the finish, yambo, the other space. Mar, I remember you want to eat a 400,000 kilos out of the earth. Even when I was a good, I said, Hella G, in a C, we say, Sina Shang. What are you saying? In a good, I didn't get there, see, we are not a fair, I didn't get in the West, we are good. There's nothing that's pulling you back. But the fact that the flights are flying within the range that has the magnetic effect of the mantle, it means that now flight is your crash. If we are up pass, which the chances of survival are very low. But if we want to fly to go back for thousand meters in time, yeah, we are passing. Yes, I don't have a to go to I've been I've been in a scenario about two or three times. I remember when I was about to land in Uganda. When you are landing in Uganda, it's very scary because. It's a Tebe airport. When you are landing, you don't see the land. You see the water from the top of the flight. You see it going down and you cannot see the front, right? When we have the Hey, I'm a flight. 
Bado zonzori abako nuri eh bato ore na bavona zonzori eh roshi kama bana ai. Uwa uvare abala kaka kuti na kama drive na mina zote. So what you have as a point of reference is you to look on the window. Azone. So what you check out the window abala you can probably see the weed, the feed, the blade of the flight. Can I remove the one that comes by back sitting and get abanga the one that cheat? But those people are walking over the pass. So what you want to learn the entire bear abala ni. Abamo ni learn the abamo na what? Bado tu 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 baba di baba bolo na ready go do ge. Ego kama pasi u in not learn. That's him and Zimbila. Ebon. Awa lo tima Zimbila mo. Lele ano tuna mela na flight. Yo na Zimbila no kwasha the flight eh no kwasha the. The flight crash. Lele sabana me ano this. Ebon ebon. So when that is happening, you don't really see where you are going. So when you look on the outside, you'll be seeing him and Abiru Chikaru go fuka river. And then go to most of the Tina 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 Namadi, we're getting lower. So when you actually get to Roma 200 meters, it's a recovery. That's when the land starts. And then it lands on the on the land and then it's fine. But at this other time, we were landing and it was windy. So when we we're trying to do the approach, you know that the flight I called, but you check, I remember the flight. I drew a corner with a hang, 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 Imo dipo vai ver, imo dipo amo, né? Co, né? Que zula. Ara ni co, nori camsin go tio kawa ko shindo. Ni co, né? Co, co na wo shanda ni. Yamo, nori co no fala radio, se le abu diabo. Obviously, when it's higher, it's faster to get to shanda. It won't take the whole day. But it will corner there and come back, and then it will approach nicely, and then it lands again. So you know, so you get the idea, ngi ngi wo Uganda. You go so go to Dubai, get such Dubai God. Hey, never ever. Now I know, now we coolness. I'm gonna fly to Dubai, come back when I chill the body. What's going on? 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 What's That's why I say I think I deserve to be the president of education. <laughs> I deserve. Because I've been there. Nonetheless, we'll come back to example 14. Acceleration of the motor car. A motor car with a mess of that accelerates uniformly from rest up a gradient of 1 is to 25. What gradient to 1 is to 25? What does 1 is to 25? What could I wanna? One is twenty-five people. The original story, and reaches a speed of it's what it's a motor car with a mess of that. Are they obviously in a one thousand two hundred? The weight here in the guy, almost twelve thousand, twelve kilonewtons. Almost. Tiba gori one comma two pi multiply by nine point eighty. So we are so gonna we are so gonna twelve thousand newtons. But if we don't get thousand, so we twelve kilonewtons. Kesi lava kuna ushimi sahihi la gradient ya bo one over twenty five feet ba kuna ibu isa kila two twenty nine kila. This thing is pixelating. Sabo na ranya tel. Aye, kesi lava one is twenty five was the slope. Rawa na angle ya shia two comma twenty five. Obviously, if you've got that slope as two comma twenty five, this means that you will have your W. W will be almost twelve kilo newtons, and then you're gonna have your perpendicular force. And then you're gonna have your parallel force. And in this case, this angle will be how much? It will be the same, two comma two twenty nine. Agree? Yeah. And then from there, story chapa chapa chomo vane paala. But the shumere parallel apa noni? Iko ba W sine of two comma twenty five. Iya ngai pe iko ba W cos of two comma twenty five. Plug and play, boom shaka laka. Uba pala ni ba chomo buzofi awe ta acceleration. Ba shumisa movement formula kula. You use the movement formula, you plug and play. Have a kinetic energy. But when you acceleration in Gapanta, but you miss a velocity of a poor year on a kilo 15 meters per second. Massive will be up a layer 1200. So it's going to be half times 102 times 15 squared. It's 135 kilojoules. Pum shakalaka. Then you are there. And then you've got your potential energy after two minutes. And then they tell us that to get the, the two minutes, you must get that distance first. And for you to get that distance, it means that you have to figure it out using the movement formula. Because I don't know what distance here. 
from the top to the bottom, from the bottom to the top. The distance after two minutes, this one. Half 80 squared, acceleration calculator, the time you two minutes, 120, and then you've got everything coming down to 900. And then the height, the fact that you've got 900, the heno near by one eye apply horizontal. And as a fact, your river nine to two comma two nine. Heno ni na he to get this distance here. Yeah, no kogonya. This one. It has to be a sign relationship. It has to be a sign relationship with these ones. Boko no zwana. The apala one hila sign ya kujenera oni apala. This is where this sign is coming from. And you've got sign is y over x or x over r. Um. Sign of 229 and then plug and play. Am I right there? Yeah. Okay. Then boom shagalaka. Then you get your age to be. No, I'm wrong, guys. This is my story. Abala better go to the age here and ah. But wanna rawana nine hundred here ya. So here relationship in you know y over x. In any relationship your sign of age tanga chine the two comma two five degrees. So it's gonna be. Sine of 2,25 is equals to y, which is h, over x. Ah, sorry, man, this is 10. I'm confused for days. Y over r. Y over r, not y over x. Y over r. No, so? Y over r. And then in this case, what is what? This is the unknown. The r is the 900. Is that the way? Okay. And then you become h, and then this one becomes 900. And then you make H the subject of the formula, and then you have how much? 35,97 meters. Boom shakalaka. And then at that distance, you are going to use it as your height. Why? horizon vertical in a scenario. And then it's P is MGH. Boom shakalaka for 23,02. And then obviously, we've got. The ones that we need to crack and master. Apa no ni kwa kuzubi ni yana comes. A two kg ama na number eight comes na number twelve. So guma ne faal. Ropeza dynamics inga juu ni chini kesi la. Rima gato wa chitu. Kila dynamics yopera. Rajena kwa statics. Statics will be our baby for next week. So zjamori from tomorrow to Friday to Saturday to Sunday. So zjamori. Eno ni statics ni the intro disa kwa Friday. So tomorrow you guys are going to give me work. I don't know how far we're gonna work. Can we agree on the amount of work I'm expecting tomorrow? I'm agreeing you rubber pass in Gibad, yeah. Hey, I'll show me up on a recap in Yana. Resume Sanori, my children about the double chimera ZP. Cut three comma one book on pass seven and eight. Seven and eight on three comma one. Seven and eight, cut three comma one. I shona. Aye. And then Gangeno go cut three comma two, back on four, five, and six. Back on one, I see. Are eighty seven, Nepal? Okay. Hey, boy. Cut three point three, back on two, not three, four. Eyes on. Aye. And then from this side, but the vampire, he no need to go around, he no need to gang and he only is important in a man. Shiga English, shiga English, shiga English. Two, three, four, and five. Is it only by Nam Sarevas as it pays it? What Gumed is somewhere in a pub? Two, three, four, five. Vula book and mark. Two, three, and four, and five. I want you to have a dog with that. Two, three, four, five. So come, my Gana Musi, the monogram of Guma somewhere. Then the Friday, but don't desire a young portion. The Friday, but don't suffer five feet. Nothing stops you from being a maverick. Nothing stops you from being an explorer. Nothing stops you from being clever. By tanti, inti, inti, inti. Zaba pa idea. Why should the one upon the other do do gamuli rom mwa serious inga man? Energy kizila. Rodi amadi energy. Rodi shuma. E bugugu na dodo ya shuma next semester wu. E bone. Abu yoveti wagon. Bampa na edzi noni. Radiva Zori Bob is your uncle. Radu Gisa Muriro wa wamata anga. Then we start statics on Friday, and then Ramaru go do garicha pa anga. The bonong are science for railway just you know. It go far up the road. Car speed wise, the bonong are far speed. Statics on Friday. 
Ra statics juga include dana centroid. Statics juga include ada bimun dana centroid. Ada yang nombor ajar Friday, jumpa dah Friday. Lesa cawan ni storage. Semua sangat ajar. Cina cawan sangat penting di sana jadi centroid. The important part here being to get the center of your shapes. Why we have to divide zero pet zero pass? Uba abo. Rukut tu ada kes jula. Rukut jenah air dulu lagi. After statics ini minit dia air. After statics, we are going. Hey, if you focus steady, you can get hydraulic. Hydraulic is now here. The challenge is going to be. We need to spend maximum time and enough time on hydraulics. On this side, at the very top, we have storage and operation. At the top, we are going to get test two. But I would love us that we have statics as part of our test one and test two as well. We will be able to do the work on the one about fire straight. So, what time do we have left? Zero time. Apa kau korang dengar nak zoom meter sih? Zoom meter per second ni jangan. Okay, I've got another person who just commented. There is the fire. Apa tu komen? Kamu sih baru je jelas. Oh, binya wifi. Mara nak jenis apa tu komen tak? Hah, wane 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 wane. Ada komunikator, but nonetheless, I'm glad that ro 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 kecha pakai science ini. Rari kanga ro korupi ranking ni ana ros pena ni ana sih nak kinematik. We are still gonna go back to kinematics and to deal with different examples. Ada dua orang nama tuan gokol lekat di question paper ribet nono sukat hanu drop amana now. Twenty 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 one twenty twenty two. Ni acara ni kumpul tema. Dua tema je piring up. Bo je bo je ada kumpul tema bo je apa ada kumpul terus begini jadi zora awak ni apa dia? Awak dek awak dek asal tu mama. Awak dek asal tu mama so. Riko no kumpul tema ni nanti lah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for Africa watching. It's a pleasure. Please share this content. Like our things. We are doing science. You can see I'm very tired. I'm very hungry. So please do donate some cash if you can. So I think that donate here. I'm going to give you take care of But nonetheless, we'll do that as this thing grows. It's not a money thing based. It's based on the country's growth. I want to show the country that it's not about being a DJ only. It's not about being a musician for you to be at the top. You can do anything else and be at the top. So, big salute and salutations to my people. Big shout out to Motivate City and everybody else.